the thing that might surprise people about Sealand, what would become Sealand, the world's smallest country, is just how relatively small these forts are. I mean, the the superstructure on the top, I think it's like maybe two tennis courts side by side, and the the circular pontoons that are hollow with all the the seven layers of rooms in them are probably no more than I would say probably twenty feet across. So altogether it's you know little more than like a, a probably a big house but right. they did have uh you know 120 uh, marines living out there at a time which was not only was there really no easy easy way on or off but you know it's just incredibly claustrophobic too right yeah yeah so this is it right yeah yeah that's um one there are four of these forts that was previously known as Ruff's Tower before it was rechristened Sealand but uh those are the yeah four of the Monself naval forts yeah man yeah look at that thing it's just <laughs> it's literally just two columns with a platform on top like super simple but that's you know that's all they needed it to be for this fort Right. And then, you know, of course, had anti-aircraft guns and um, other pieces of weaponry up there. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, I think, you know, being out there really drove home again, just how relatively small these forts are. And the walkways going between the levels are I mean, probably no more than, I would say, three and a half feet wide. So, And there's, the stairs are incredibly steep. So you're under the surface of the water in these essentially a concrete tomb with no way up aside from a super steep and super skinny um, set of metal stairs, which was just like, you know, again, I mean, you, you know, you're out there getting in fights with, you know, airplanes. Like if that thing blows up and you're under there, that was, you're done for. I mean, that was genuinely pretty, I'm not especially claustrophobic, but that was like, that was pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and these like the rooms because people would sleep in those columns, and there's there's not there's no windows, there's nothing. Right, and that's what you can hear the water lapping against the side of it, which is kind of a cool <laughs> sound. Um, but again, you know, yeah, I mean, being under there, and like one of them above one of the columns is the generator with you know there's a huge diesel generator and yeah. so if that exploded and something caught on fire it's like <laughs> it's like hard to even think about really oh man so for the way they would just build these things of like you know almost zero regard for the safety of people out there you know right and you know uh being out there was pretty mind numbing. And so people would, you know, start to go a little stir crazy. So that from what I, you know, what I read, the commanding officers would make people take up hobbies and, you know, uh, do things to keep their minds stimulated. So they didn't completely lose it while they were out there. Right. Yeah. And then how many people did you say would stay on these when they were used as forts? Uh, up to 120. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. That's like, it's like, I had a hard time even kind of imagining where all those people would be at. Cause I guess some people would just have to kind of, you know, you'd be in one place. So maybe that's in one of the columns, like tending to, I don't know, whatever, what you, whatever you'd be doing in these various levels. Right. Jeez, man. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats. And all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video. And this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay, I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button. Subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good, but I'm not very good.